Hello, this is a mini tutorial on using Eclipse to edit Lisp code. I'm going to be using my Mac and using Clipper, but if you're on a other Linux type system, you can just use the locally installed software. And I'm going to open up an SSH connection to Clipper. Because I'm going to be using Emacs in a graphical mode, I need to make sure to specify the dash X parameter to enable X Windows communications. When I get to the dollar sign prompt, I'm now able to run commands and I'll type in Emacs. At this point, the Emacs window should appear. And using the Emacs window now, this particular buffer here has the fundamental mode editor, which is just a straight up text editor. Um, and it's got a window called the GNU Emacs window. What I really want to do is I'd like to begin editing Lisp code. So I'll type escape x, which is the meta x command, or the mx command in the Emacs documentation. Type in the command that I want to do, which is to switch to a buffer called scratch. And we'll see that this particular buffer, the scratch buffer, is a Lisp interaction buffer. And this will allow me to type in Lisp expressions and evaluate them. So for instance, I can do plus one, two, three, four. And if I hit control J, which is the command to tell Emacs to evaluate the current Lisp expression, we'll see that I get the sum of those numbers. Using the arrow keys, I can move around some basic Emacs editing commands. Control K will kill to the end of the line. Control underscore will undelete or undo the last n commands. There's a, an unlimited number of undos in Emacs. Um, I can define new functions. So our function foo here should give us x plus 1. So once we have the expression evaluated, we can continue expanding on Um, our existing Lisp definitions, and in this way, Emacs makes it very easy for us to interact with Lisp. This is the internal Lisp interaction mode. We can hit Control X, K to kill this buffer, and we can begin a inferior process mode of Emacs. In this case, we're going to use Slime. Slime is a built-in um, Lisp interaction that actually uses the common Lisp executable not the internal Emacs Lisp. So this is the full up version of the common Lisp interface. In this case, what I want to do is I'd like to leave this interaction to here. And I'm going to hit Control X 5 2 to open up a new window. And I can do the same thing. I'm going to do Escape X, switch to a new buffer. And in this case, I'm going to give it a name, for instance, example.l. If I give a name for a buffer that doesn't exist, Emacs will create it. Now, I'm going to ask Emacs to go to slime mode for this buffer. And so now we see the slime modification on here, and this allows me to um, be able to click on slime commands as I type in my expressions. So, for example, type in a command, and now I can do control C, C, and that will evaluate the last expression that I've typed in. I can also use the menu here, and I can have it evaluate the definition, and this will add that definition to the global space of definitions in the uh, common Lisp environment. Okay, so we have our function foo defined. If I hit Control J here, it doesn't do anything like it did in the uh, internal list mode. So what I want to do is I want to evaluate this current expression, and I want to print out the output. So to do that, I either run the menu command or I do the Control C, Control P. That's what this notation here means. So um, we see that we get the output four. 
um, which is just as expected. One of the very nice things about slime that's very helpful is, for instance, let's say that as we're learning Lisp, we're not sure what functions are built in. I can type in the first few characters, and I can then ask it for symbol completion, which is Control C Tab. And we'll see down here in this window that there is a function called reverse, and there's remove, and all sorts of other built-in functions. In this case, we want to choose reverse, so I click on it and hit enter. And now I can type in the rest of my expression. Control C, Control P will cause it to be evaluated. These internal evaluations are not done into the same common list environment. They use the common list environment, but they don't modify the common list environment. Only these defuns do. And again, to send a definition in to have it actually be evaluated would be control meta x. So in this case, it would be control option x. Oops, control open apple x on my Macintosh, um, presumably it would be something on the order of control windows key X uh, or control alt X on a PC keyboard. The other thing that this slime operation allows us to do is to help debug our Lisp code and I can ask it to turn on trace and if I want to trace my function foo now whenever I call foo we see in our output window what the functions calls are. This is very handy for things how functions into their native code and what will happen then is instead of running the evaluated code it will substitute the evaluated code with the compiled code and execute that in its place. Very much like Java does with its hotspot compilation. Um, another technology that uh, Lisp contributed that was pirated into mainstream environments.